going on welcome to another vlog it's really cold out this morning it's like 32 degrees here in phoenix which is kind of unusual um, we got this couch all cleaned up yesterday if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog we have this one sold we couldn't deliver it because it started raining so we're gonna go deliver that one right now and then maybe see if we can pick up it's like a 45 minute drive from where we're at so maybe see if we can pick up another couch in that area. Maybe clean and lift some other couches and then we might also have another delivery. All right, so. we just delivered that one. Sold it for 800. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But yeah, we got that one sold. We're just gonna get something to drink here at the gas station. And, and then Mariah messaged a bunch of people um, on couches that are around this area. So we might mm -hmm. pick one up, see what happens. Actually, like the older, um sure not all people like this but usually the older people that we deliver to they're always usually like the most finicky ones like it has a little tiny tear or something they just have the biggest fit over it yeah like, it, had know, like it, a... it had a little dirt smudge on it from us moving it and that's bound to happen when you're moving furniture and she was just ha like having the hardest time about it and, uh, it was like a little like this big yeah. on a huge couch like you know how big that couch was and it's they weren't mean or anything it's just a lot of older people that we know are just you know kind of like that but you just kill them with kindness be nice we set it all up for them when we you know didn't have to and it's a $3,500 couch so yeah. we drove 45 minutes we didn't even charge them extra to drive longer so I don't know we didn't I'm even charging. I don't think we, they even said thank you yeah but it is a that happens kind of but that i'm not we yeah. never get mad or anything it's literally just kind of like funny we're just like well that was an experience <laughs> at least it's over with and now we get a you know just go about the day all right yeah. we're back at storage just getting ready to list this couch that we got yesterday um if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog we picked this one up or we actually we have someone that we work with that brings couches to us uh, we paid 175 for this one we're hoping to sell this one for what 575 i think so at least 550 i mean it's got a um, couple like dings on the legs and like some marks in there but otherwise it's in good shape yeah it turned out pretty good it was very dusty i don't know why but yeah we vacuumed it shampooed it yesterday it turned out pretty decent so hopefully we'll probably get at least 500 for it and then i think we're gonna go ahead and clean this one up and list this one as well. We got this yesterday for free. It's in pretty good shape. It's kind of older besides like this black fabric here, but it's still all right. We took pictures of that black one, as you saw. Now we got these all done. They're ready for pictures. Turned out really nice, actually. So I think we'll sell them for like at least 450. And I think we're gonna call it a day after this because we're really tired. We haven't been sleeping too well and going to bed late, working on stuff, getting up early. So we're gonna go relax, probably get some other stuff done, see if we find any other couches. And then we have to go to um, an appointment for our dog and then deliver a couch. So we'll probably try to pick at least one up today. Okay, so Bye. we're back at storage. Now we just loaded this guy up and now we're gonna deliver it. We have somebody else possibly asking for that like electric reclining one that's super heavy delivered too. We thought we might have to donate it just because we don't have space, but luckily someone wanted it. And they'll actually pay us to take out their old couch as well. So that's really nice. Uh, we'll deliver this one, kind of see where we're at, and then possibly deliver the other one. And then after that, we're just probably gonna chill. It's a little big for his space, but it's not, it's not my freaking job. I don't know how big your house is. So we just uh, delivered that one. Uh, it was kind of like a tight fit for the space but whatever works I guess he was kind of a you run into that more than you think honestly but it's not like I don't know how big your house is and you want to hold it I put all the measurements in there so in my opinion you're an adult we're both adults you should measure your space and know that it fits um you run into it a little more than you think but you ran into it this it fit but it's blocked his like sliding door mm -hmm, for like to go out to the patio but he didn't have anything out there so I don't know if he uses it um, and then the people this morning, like it was like a little bit past their counter. So I don't know, you'll run into it a little bit more than you think because humans are humans and you know, make mistakes and you sometimes they just don't measure and they're like, oh, it's bigger than I thought. And it's like, I put the measurements in there, you know? So I always say, did you measure it? And they're like, no. It's like, I don't know what to tell you then, but I brought it here, here you go. It's your, your deal from here on. But um, that guy was a great guy, he was perfect. 
uh, gave us, um, sent us cash work. I said, yep. He said, um, okay, great. Here's the address. Here's exactly like where I live, how to get to where I'm at because it's an apartment. First floor. He asked if we could help carry it in. Didn't just assume. Um, very communicative. Didn't like leave me hanging. Um, really easy to work with. Those are the people we love to work with, but he didn't measure too well. So. <laughs> I don't know what he was expecting. It's kind of a small apartment and such a big couch, but some people don't mind. That's like what their thing is, but I don't know. Yeah, now we're gonna go deliver that. We got it for free, that electric like reclining one. Mm -hmm. I absolutely hate these couches, but just want to get rid of it. We were just gonna donate it just to free up room because we're in the selling business, not the storage business. I'd like to own storage units soon. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we want to get rid of it, make some space for some other ones. Selling it for 200 I don't know if Tanner said that. And then they're paying us to take out their old ones. So we're going to go donate then. And then after that, we're just going to chill and make dinner. Um, do a little bit of grocery shopping. Uh, so we're not about a $2,000 day today. Yeah, and then we're selling uh, one tomorrow. That one that has like the stains that we had to like redo on it. Uh, for 800 that's the one that I said like for sure I have it sold Thursday if it's not sold already We and also got that one for free besides uh -huh. paying the guy 120 to steam it but yeah. we had to redo yeah. it Yeah, that one was 120 so I just say like 150 with gas max so That is 650 profit. So I think that's really good Of course, I would have just we rather about like 600 plus let us know if you want us to do we're thinking about starting to do these videos like probably not every week but on the weeks that uh, we have the time to like sit down and do a video uh, where we do like a weekly recap where we go through every single couch show you a picture talking about the cleaning listing process and then how much we got for how much we sold it for and then just I don't know hang out and do like a kind of like sit down style video talk about random stuff and I think that would be really fun. We can sit there and do that. And then we can like break down that week, like the average profit per couch we made. I think that'd be really interesting to watch. I'd watch it. But just comment below if that's something you'd be interested in. And then also, cause we have Transformation Tuesday, we're doing daily vlogs where we just like bring you inside the business the whole month of December. And then show you other things. We'll just be doing yeah. and like I said, we're kind of still uh -huh. figuring out our flow for sure the transformation Tuesdays where we'll take like the crappiest couch of the week mm -hmm. show you the transformation or just like a cool one to see too yeah um and then we also have like videos we'll just post like tips uh for different things we've done a couple of those and then also like if we've just specialty videos like talking about different things and then also Tanner wants to start doing more sit down videos kind of like the one if you check out the one on his page talking about going from being a pilot to flipping couches <laughs> then you can watch that one too he wants to do more videos like that this is why mm -hmm. get paid peanuts flying <laughs> yeah how much like we were talking about this the other day and um if you can make ends meet and you're happy with what you do that's all that matters but for us and our specific goals i think um you know this is just the better option for us a stepping stone to get to where we're at and considering how much, how much did i make at my last job flying um well he made like 50 an hour but it was not like you were up there flying eight hours a day well like after that's for I me mean, after taxes though and everything, oh, what would um, i bring home every two weeks like 1200 dollars. yeah every two weeks and that was with you know he's a very hard worker as you guys know and that was yeah that was working overtime too I'd work in the shop on top of flying, I'd mm -hmm. fly on the weekends. Yeah, I uh, think flying you typically will make like, what, $30 an hour, like is it pretty good? And then up to... For an hourly, yes, most pilot jobs are like salary, but... But yeah, we, I mean, considering where our old life was going to now where we're going now, it's just like a huge quantum leap, uh, obviously a lot of small ones in between. It's just crazy like some people like from the outside perspective they'll look in and say I don't understand um, why this why that as we've talked about some other videos and it's just well of course you don't understand because it's not your journey and you haven't been with us these last two and a half years making these hard decisions about your future and we this feels 100% in alignment with what we've always wanted but we were 
we're always swayed to like try to have to accomplish what societal standards want us to our families and me I was always pressured to like feel like I had to be a doctor and Tanner a pilot and of course that's prestigious and people think that's so amazing and honestly it is it, it, it is amazing if you can accomplish those things but so is putting food on the table in hard times so is taking care of your kids people you know? are going to get confused gonna, they're going to say well you made 50 bucks an hour but you only brought home 1200 dollars every two weeks the thing about flying it's not just like you punch in and go fly for eight hours do you he fly? get he wouldn't even get a whole ton of time because his boss was yeah and think of, like when you go <laughs> yeah when you go fly there's you're not going to go we go to work and fly for eight hours You're and this go... wasn't for the airlines no this wasn't for the yeah. airlines this was back home doing uh flight instructing survey a uh, little bit of charter mm -hmm. that's just the thing like most of the time when you go fly you're gonna fly like your flight plan from here to here is going to be like an hour two hours and then you're sitting on the ground and then when you're on the ground you're getting paid hold time which is like peanuts so yeah but even so like you know just the life that we were leading it was great and all and it it would have worked out for us but that's just it didn't allow with the kind of like lifestyle that we saw ourselves living we want more time freedom me and tanner the type of people where we're very headstrong we like to do our own thing we like to be in charge we want to grow companies we want to help people we want to employ people give careers to people and i still love the medical field tanner still loves flying I'm going to start my but, own flight school. Exactly. Service. And I would love to be on the investor portion of creating hospitals that actually heal people um, instead of in it for just the money, which I feel like nowadays that's kind of how most... Uh, hospitals and doctors nowadays aren't there to heal you because if they heal you, that's the patient loss. It's money loss. They're there to mask the symptom. Mm -hmm. Even if that's... If, even if they're unaware of what they're doing, um, there are a lot of doctors like naturopathic and holistic doctors which we're starting to see now. Of course, you know, you'll still always sometimes like if you need emergency surgery or something, you need to go to the hospital. But there's circumstances where like you can go um, around the traditional route where you have like a health savings account and or um, I don't know. There's just, you know, because I feel like they always try to screw you in some way. But patient cured is a patient law. So I still love the medical field as far as that, but like I said, I love to be on the investor standpoint or like on a board or I don't know how all that works like from that perspective, but being a part of like a hospital that is um, like more holistic healing and obviously they do surgeries and such, uh, but is more on the side for healing and understands um, that perspective and I don't know, it's kind of like my point of view and also me and Tanner just We've never been the type to be like good employees. We always went above and beyond at every job, but I just, it's not that I didn't listen to authority or Tanner didn't listen to authority. Authority, It's just kind of hard to explain. Like just got bored very easily. We outperformed very, like just, it just didn't, didn't ever work for us. Yeah, no matter how you if know? you work, this is how it was for me. I'd work my ass off and like go above and beyond. And then I'll like, by doing that, I'd get taken advantage of. And then if I didn't do that and everybody else was just like operating at this level and then Tanner was up here, when I didn't want to operate up here, then it was like once you had a job, once you show like your true potential, that's where they want, like expect you to be, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you don't really have like room to grow. And I just, I can't, I don't want to wake up every day and just do the same things. I want to wake up every day and have new problems to solve new you know mountains to overcome and just like like actually it's it's a huge huge responsibility to be an entrepreneur and a business owner um but it's and it's a long road but it's super super rewarding it's i think in the beginning it's the path that uh everyone kind of like shuns you for like your family and friends so you kind of like lose a lot of people and that's like a lot a huge conversation we could have on that but you know everyone thinks you're crazy and stuff and trust me i believe them you know 95 percent of businesses fail i think that's the, st the statistic but if you want to talk a little bit about st statistics um only i think like less than three percent of teen parents graduate high school let alone college i graduated high school tanner obviously did um he 
do I not have to be a pilot and I graduate with my bachelor's degree in two and a half years which is like unheard of even for people that don't have kids that young and then also the statistics that they stay together it's just kind of unheard of so I don't really like statistics never have never will don't care about them uh, because I'm just gonna do what I want and what makes me happy is helping other people empowering people and starting companies and being a leader uh, escape the matrix yeah you can't care like about all this made up stuff that doesn't even matter like play the game how you want to play it and this is that's all, all this that matters a game don't let it play yeah. you you need to play it yeah this $850 that's more than I made that's like what I made in two months working part time and I just made it obviously it's not all profit right it's 600 it's profit but uh, you have to think how much gas are you spending like every for two months of me driving to work how much gas am I putting in um, my time that I'm not getting paid for to drive uh, lunch that I have to pay for because I didn't pack any. Yeah, how much time you know, we have into that couch total? Maybe two hours with picking it up, bring it to storage. That couch specifically only needed really a vacuum. Delivering it. We probably spent an hour cleaning it, half an hour picking it up, half an hour delivering it. I'd say probably two to three hours of like total work, including driving, which we're also vlogging during driving too and talking about business and such. So I think, you know, $600 divided 300 each divided by three hours, that's at least $100 an hour, which I think is amazing, you know, for what we're doing, um, if you look at it that way, but I don't know. Something I never talked about either is when I was flying back home, how Mariah was saying, like, it's not that we're not good employees or good at our job, it's like we're too good, and we, you know, we just didn't want to settle and couldn't go any further, so what I did... I said, fuck it, I quit, and then gave myself a job. I got my own uh, survey contract, and then I convinced a guy to buy me, it was his plane, but to purchase a plane that I could use, and then did survey, did some flight instructing out of it, and then shortly after, that's when we decided to move here, so I was stuck between a, a rock and a hard ball, or whatever. The hard place, yeah. Hard place. So kind of had to give that up for a while to move down here, but that's in the future. That's my plans to get more planes and then start my own flight school. But now that's a good business relationship that you have because now that guy trusts him. He paid off a plane in one summer. That guy, you know, it paid for itself, I should say. Yeah, he paid $30,000 for it in three months with the work that I was doing. It paid for itself. Exactly. He was happy. I was happy. I was making money. Then we decided to come down here. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, now he has a relationship with that guy. So that's good to have because especially in the flight world or flying world everything's about relationships like building businesses I think everything is. everything is but you know it's especially helpful to have those connections um, and he probably has a lot of connections because he's an older guy that could help Tanner and um, kind of wants to get into the same thing that guy owns a flight school too that's where Tanner went so yeah but yeah I think we should probably end it there we should probably end it there <laughs> We could talk to you guys and make it hard for Tanner later to edit, but um, we could do talks like this all the time. That's kind of why I want to do the weekly recap. Again, let me know if you're interested. Um, give us any ideas. I think it'd be really cool to do. Yeah, we're going to end it here. We're going to go deliver that couch. It's nothing too exciting. We're just going to go load it up, bring it to them. 200 bucks for the couch, 50 bucks to haul their little one out. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. Like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe.